Hi everyone, I'm Ian Clark with Activation Products and I'm very pleased to be here today to talk about the important matters surrounding magnesium. Magnesium is referred to the miracle mineral or the master mineral and it's referred to that for many great reasons. It has been studied extensively, especially over the last 25 years in both the medical communities as well as the natural healing communities. Now, it has its applications physically, internally, and externally, but the dynamics that is surrounding the magnesium's function inside the body are very vast. The cool thing about it is as complicated as the body is and how much it needs magnesium in so many different areas, it has been simplified down to such an easy thing to apply to your regimen, and it has such a broad range impact that it's just the best possible return in your investment you can make when it comes to a single element that you use as a fuel throughout the day. Now, the science behind it is that there's 330 plus different biochemical reactions that happen in the body that demand magnesium as the catalyst to make everything function properly. And when you have low magnesium levels, your body just simply does not function at the level it should. That means your brain power, your immune system, your endocrine system, your metabolism, the muscle function in your body, your autonomic nervous system, your digestive system, your respiratory system, your cardiovascular. All of these systems rely on the correct amount of magnesium to be used as a fuel inside your body. Magnesium is in many foods that you eat. The issue is that the elemental levels in our diet today, uh, the elements have been dropped way down from where they used to be. And that's because of the, the mono farming and the, you know, all the agribusinesses that have gone out there to produce massive quantities of food. Even organic food is shy on elements because soils get depleted. People are not as concerned with mineralization in their soil as they used to be. The microbes in the soil are not where they were, you know, 150, 200 years ago. And so now that compromises the elements that our body requires to get from food. So it's very easy to supplement magnesium. Magnesium comes in many different forms. And once it was discovered that it was a deficiency problem that causes all types of things, uh, particularly burnout, you know, you burn out on, on all your different systems. People think burnout is just low energy or fatigue or, you know, feeling depressed. Those are the external symptoms of low magnesium. But really what's happening is at the deepest levels of your human operating system, you're compromised, which is then causing you to age faster and causing your body to try to get by with less fuel than it actually needs. So the forms of magnesium that have come to the forefront, especially I would say in the last 10 years, uh, the, the one that's the most popular is transdermal magnesium. That's the magnesium that you put on your skin and it goes into your body because you could put it from head to toe and it goes in geographically wherever you put it, gets into your microcirculation, gets into your tissue and stores as a fuel and allows your body to then regulate the amount of magnesium it has access to and how much it needs. Just as long as you supply a large amount every day. Then there are other magnesiums that have come in the market that are orally consumed. And some are, you know, patented for brain function, for muscle function, for cardiovascular. The most important thing about orally consumed magnesium is the bioavailability and how assimilable it is into your system. How much taxation is on your digestive system and your kidneys to be able to process the orally consumed magnesium which is definitely a challenge. Now you get certainly certain chelated magnesiums, uh, things like magnesium L3 and 8 that are for the brain. Those are good quality. You just gotta make sure that the manufacturer who is producing it has it certified and make sure it's the top level brand out there for the various types that you're gonna use. We started producing a product called Ease 15 years ago now. And that is a product that takes 11 hours to make. It's a very specific origin material of magnesium chloride hexahydrate, not just magnesium chloride, because 
anyone can get magnesium chloride and melt it into water and spray it in their skin, it's going to do very little good to your body because it doesn't get into your body. It just sits in the skin. It has to go through a very significant process. You have to start it with a USP pharmaceutical grade purity of magnesium chloride hexahydrate that has six water molecules attached to every molecule of magnesium chloride. And then it has to go through a special implosion machine that puts it deep, deep into solution. And then when you put it in your skin, it goes in and it's available to your body. It is structured. It's also derived from seawater originally, but it has to go through the super purification process because seawater has so many different elements in it, so many pollutants. So at the USP pharmaceutical grade, it ensures super purity and super clarity of the element itself. Therefore, it's going to work much better. But let's just get into the dynamics of magnesium first before we go too deep into the actual products that are available on the market that you can use that are super affordable and super effective. So the body runs, your electrical system and your nervous system runs in your autonomic nervous system. Now the autonomic nervous system, it has two parts. Sympathetic stress is one and parasympathetic digestion and healing and resting is the other. Both of them are very important. And when people do not have the systems in synchronicity running in sync where that you can get into sympathetic stress to get the job done, come out of it, go into parasympathetic to rest, heal and digest. Then you can get locked down in a sympathetic stress situation, which is very prevalent in our society. And when you have a sympathetic stress lock in, you're not able to digest, to rest, to heal at the levels you should be. One of the major contributing factors to that imbalance is a magnesium deficiency. So when you think about magnesium's function, just in the muscle level, a muscle uses calcium to contract and magnesium to relax. So you have to be contracting and relaxing as you go. And when you think about the amount of bandwidth that your body requires from the brain to monitor every muscle in your body, They've learned that 80% of your nervous system is connected to muscles just for the muscles functioning alone, just all the muscles working in synergy and symphony together takes 80% of your brain power on the nervous monitoring side to function, to sit up, to walk around, to talk. You have your fast switch muscles, your slow, long, powerful muscles. You have all these muscles that require monitoring all the time and we're very automated. So we take it for granted. But the problem is, is when you don't have the right amounts of magnesium in your system, your autonomic nervous system, your central nervous system, and your brain have a very big issue coping with that and compensating for the lack of fuel. And as time goes on, that starts to wear you down. And the more you wear yourself down, the more bandwidth you're using without proper fuel, the more your body starts to wear, joints can wear, muscles can fatigue, you get overcalcification in your arterial system, you get overcalcification in your muscles, you get overcalcification in your joints. This causes a stiffening and people literally as they age and get into their elderly years, turn into like a statue. They get so stiff. Their muscles atrophy because they're not getting the contraction and the relaxation on a nice regular basis. So it ends up exacerbating problems that are already there in the aging process. So the magnesium being used by more than 330 biochemical reactions in your body are affecting every single part of your entire human operating system network, whether it's brain function, you know, people get brain fog. They, in their, in their nervous system, they get anxiety. You know, it messes with their, their gut instincts. It messes with their passion because something so simple that simply needs to be topply fueled up every day when it's not, it has this creeping effect on your whole system that is underlying. And then all these other types of health symptoms show up, high blood pressure, anxiety, constipation, brain fog, nervousness, all these different things that, that happen 
that are completely unacceptable in your lifestyle because it's compromising who you are and how you come across. So if you go back into uh, classical Chinese medicine, like this predates traditional, and that's a whole other subject, but I'll just touch on it for a moment to try to explain so the simple understanding of how your body functions and how you as a person are being expressed because you are a spirit being, you are a soul inhabiting your body and you are connected to every speck of your body from the tip of your fingertips to the tip of your toes to the top of your head. And there are different types of energies that you are required to be able to function at your highest level. So they talk about chi energy. Everybody's heard of chi energy. Chi energy is simply the energy you get from eating food, making sure you're nourished properly. And that's your fuel for the day, the fuel to climb a mountain with. And it is very important to have good, clean, nutritious food. You don't want to be eating pesticides and herbicides and fungicides with the foods. You don't want to have hybridized foods. You don't want to have genetically modified organisms and the, the glyphosate, all those things that, that we're very aware of. So eating organic, you know, avoiding the human uh, fecal fertilizers they put on conventional food because there's no restrictions, just keeping it as clean as you possibly can and as nourishing as you can that gives you your chi energy. Now, when the magnesium is lacking or other elements, which we can discuss at another time, but because we're focusing on magnesium today, when magnesium is low, you don't get the proper amount of chi energy. So then people feel fatigued. They don't, they're not, they run out of steam throughout the day. The next energy system is your jing energy. Jing energy is what you're born with. So that's like your the quality of the battery you're born with, the amount of charge in that battery. And that determines how long and healthy a life you're going to have. And it is genetic. But what happens is people don't realize that that is a very sensitive energy storage. And they actually end up abusing their Jing energy without meaning to. Because in the Qi energy world, where they're not getting the right nutrition and the right elements, then they're pulling on their Jing energy to it spills over into their chi energy to, to complement it. You don't want to do that. You want to have your chi energy sorted out because that's your fuel day in and day out. Your jing energy is your overall aura, your, your body's battery charge. You want to keep your battery charged up. You want to have that radiance, that glow, that beautiful appearance and presence when you're with people and they can feel your energy, they can feel your glow, they know that you're lit, and that's your Jing energy. Now, people will resort to using all kinds of stimulants. So their, their Qi energy is low because they're not getting the right nutrients, their body's not functioning right, they've got all kinds of gaps, they're trying to supplement the best they can, but they're just not getting it, and they end up not getting the right rest ability when they got to go rest and recharge, because when your body gets tired, you got to go rest. But if you're stuck in sympathetic nervous system instead of parasympathetic, you don't go into the deep enough rest to get that deep, deep level recharge from your sleep. So these things are a downward spiraling cycle that your chi energy keeps being depleted and then you keep pulling on the jing. So if you use a stimulant like lots of caffeine or all these different types of stimulants people can use, which we you know, know is kind of jacking the system up without being using the, the energy properly, keeping the energy systems in the right category, and you start spilling your Jing into your Qi, you're actually removing days off at the end of your life today. And you don't know how many days you're removing off the end of your life because a normal healthy life, say, would be 120 years. You know, if you had really good genetics and a good healthy body, and that means 120 years with great health and then you die in your sleep with no pain. But when people start to stimulate themselves robbing their Jing energy because they don't have the proper Qi, then they're starting to remove days off at the end of their life. Now, you don't feel that today. You don't feel that until you meet the end of your life. And you know that when people get older, they, they tend to age even more rapidly. The older they get, the faster they age. The more time goes on, the faster time goes on. So it's one of those things where you want to keep your aging process as slowed down as possible by making sure you keep your Jing energy topped up.
Now, the third energy system is Shen energy. And that Shen energy is who you are to people, right? How they see you being expressed. How reliable are you? How much are you able to follow through on what you promise? How much can they depend on you? That's your Shen energy. So your Qi energy and your Jing energy express itself, themselves fully in your Shen energy. And it's very difficult for people to have a powerful Shen energy when their Qi is not functioning properly and they're, springing their, they're spilling their Jing into their Qi on a day-to-day -day basis. So the more that you are robbing your Jing energy, the shorter your life is going to be, the more problems you could be susceptible to, where if you know the elemental fuels that you require for your body to keep topped up and how to top them up and where to get the proper elemental forms to, that your body is going to resonate with that are completely compatible with your entire human operating system, then you no longer are spilling Jing into Qi. You're actually able to charge up your Jing. So if you, like, for example, with me at 46 years old, I had depleted my Jing so badly because I was so ignorant about my own human health that I had a thousand days left to live based on medical prognosis and medical diagnosis. If I were to go the medical route at that time, I would have been out of here in a thousand days or less. And I thought, that's, that's crazy. I'm 46 years old at the time and I got a thousand days left to live. That means I had super depleted my Jing and didn't even understand those systems at all at that time. So as I started to learn that it was my responsibility. It was not someone else's fault. I couldn't blame the doctors. I couldn't blame everybody else for my problems. That it was actually me and my manner of life, the protocols that I didn't know about, the inability to realize how important sleep was and how important deep sleep was, being hydrated, being nourished properly, eating clean food, making sure my body is finding its perfect weight management balance, making sure my energy systems are being fortified and fueled at all times, I was therefore on this 1,000 day trajectory. Now that didn't mean I would be dead in a thousand days. That just means I was told, look, you got about a thousand days left to live. Well, what I, the way I took it is that that 1,000 days is 1,000 days to live. Now, if you've got 1,000 days to work with, you, you got to figure out during that 1,000 days how to extend it. So because my battery was so drained and I was in such a toxic state and I had so much damage to my system from neglecting the, the really important things over the years, somehow thinking I was invincible. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I was acting that way. And it took me during that 1000 days, I was able to extend that to around 5000 days. That took me a while. <laughs> that was not easy because I was so far behind the eight ball and I didn't know what I had to do. And you can only meet so many people so soon. The one thing that the saving grace in this whole thing is that I woke up one morning and I knew there were people on the earth who really had a deep understanding of the very best, most effective ways to support the human operating system to become very, very efficient and to allow itself to repair. I, I, I believe that my body had the ability to heal. I, I be also believe that I could live a very, very long life, but Obviously, I was doing things that were short-circuiting it. So it took around five years. I got past the 1,000 days, no problem, because I used those 1,000 days very carefully, completely cleaned up my diet, of course, found out about hydration, made sure I was getting proper sleep, made sure that I was managing my stress levels. I didn't even know what the autonomic nervous system was until I got into the natural health space because nobody trains you about these things in school or in medicine. They don't even talk about it. And when I started to find out about heart rate variable monitors and how you can measure things and how you could actually physically do mechanical things to support your autonomic nervous system from going into sympathetic and into parasympathetic and get back and forth as you need. And then I, I started learning, of course, about magnesium. That was 15 years ago. I started to learn about it, but it took a time of experiential use of magnesium to really teach me what it meant because you could bury me with white papers and scientific documents and all these studies, but until I personally experienced the benefits of bringing my magnesium levels up, I wouldn't be able to fully understand. So then I realized, wow, you're taught by the things that you are doing and applying and seeing the results. 
So there are many different white papers, many studies out in the natural world that are, you know, showing that you're supposed to get a good result. But depending on the type of study that is done, you know, if it's geared towards providing a study that's going to give you the answer that you want to be able to sell a product, then the study is not done right. But if the study is set up apart from any agenda at all, it's just looking at what are the true actual results sustainable at the highest possible level for the person who is engaging in using these elemental things that are being studied, is, is their best interest in mind or is somebody's pocketbook in mind, that changes then the structure of the study. So the foundation of everything is of extreme importance because the, your health foundation you're standing on has to have all of the elements in the right form, in the right place, in order for your body to draw on the fuel. It's like a vehicle. If you have run pure, poor fuel, if you're not changing the oil properly, if you're not greasing all the places that need to be greased, and you're not maintaining the vehicle, the vehicle will wear out a lot faster than it otherwise would. And your body's very much the same way. And most people don't realize how subtle it is. If you were to take 10 years of life compared to 10 miles of highway, for example, and let's say that highway was perfectly level. Well, you can put the car in neutral and nothing's going to happen. You have to push your foot on the gas to make it drive on a flat because there's friction. Let's just take the highway and tilt it one degree down or one degree up. You're still not going to really move. One degree is not going to make much difference. You're not going to fall backwards. You're not going to go forwards. It's just not enough of a degree. But that one degree is a micro adjustment that has a macro result. Because if you drive your car down the highway for 10 miles at a one degree incline versus a one degree decline, the difference is 875 feet, the size of a large skyscraper at the end of that 10 miles. And so <clears throat> it shows up in a very major way. That's why these seemingly little things that we miss are extremely important because they have a gradual impact on our life on a cumulative basis. So having magnesium deficiency has a cumulative development of ill health that shows up in a myriad of different symptoms that people look at, well, you got to do this too. You know, like it's like trying to solve a problem that is very complex. You've got all these symptoms and people are offering you all these solutions to these problems. Whereas if you would go back to the root cause of the problem and deal with that, you actually have an elimination of the problem altogether. You're no longer solving the problem because you've actually eliminated the problem. So that is the thing that after many, many years I learned, and it's not just talking about root cause, everybody talks about root cause, but can you as an individual actually get to the root cause? Do you really have the goods and the ability to get to that root cause place and really focus it in and deal with it so that the problem disappears? So that was the thing I learned about magnesium. That was my first lesson that when I brought my magnesium levels up and I just did it through transdermal magnesium, this very specific type, I noticed that my body functions, my human operating systems work so much better and smoother over a period of time. My aches and pains went away just by adding it into my skin on a daily basis. I never missed a day and I don't miss a day. You add it in because it is a fuel that you're burning and you're, the more brain power you use, the more magnesium you require. It's a super fuel for your brain function. Think of every thought, like it takes 80,000 thoughts to touch your index finger to your thumb. That's all measured, right? 80,000 thoughts. Now we can sit and put all of our fingers on both of our hands together. How many thoughts I just used up in that little bit of time. And every thought requires magnesium at its core for the biochemical reaction for that thought to process. And we're so automated, we're burning it up. So just think about if you're in a project and you're working very diligently on multiple facets of this project or a project, or however you want to <laughs> pronounce it, we're Canadian. So having all those different multifaceted aspects of the project, you are burning billions and billions of thoughts, magnesium required for every one of those thoughts, and you're in the flow. So when you're using your brain more, or if you're under more stress, because sympathetic stress is actually a good thing when it's being used properly. You got things to get done during the day. You want to be able to, to go nice into that sympathetic stress system, get the job done and immediately come back out again into the parasympathetic, resting, healing, digesting, 
and getting that recharge that you require by having the right elements within your body to use for the fuel to also rest. So the one cool thing about the Ease Magnesium that we have is that it, it helps you have a much deeper rest. You put it on before you go to bed. When you wake up in the morning, you put it on before your day and it gives you that calm, peaceful energy, that solid energy fueled by magnesium throughout the day. And again, if you find oral supplementation that you see gives you results, like I talked about the chelated uh, viscalisinate, the l 3 and 8 there's Torate, there's different more effective forms that are less taxing in your system when you take them internally. You see a shift and a groundswell of energy that comes in that's sustainable because you're not robbing your Jing energy to spill it into the chi anymore. You're building your real chi energy, and it, which allows your body to function at the highest levels possible. And that's not just like brain function. We're talking about, like I said earlier, cardiovascular, respiratory, digestive, autonomic, your, your muscles tuned in by 80% of your nervous system, not taxing your brain just to do automatic things your muscles contracting and relaxing in their proper fashion, your joints having all the calcium that built up in your joints over a lifetime of magnesium deficiency, then marrying back to the magnesium you're feeding your body with and going back into the bones where it's supposed to, getting out of the muscles that are causing constriction and stiffness, going back into the areas of your body that the calcium is supposed to be with the magnesium. So again, when you don't have the right amount of magnesium, your body starts to leach the calcium out of your bones, and that can get into your arteries, which causes hardening of the arteries. It does so many things that are just reversed when you put the proper form of magnesium back into your system, which then allows your body to function at its highest level in this beautiful symphony. So people get burnt out. They talk about burnout. They talk about getting stressed out. There's all these different terminologies. They can't get enough deep sleep. They're not dreaming properly. They're having to take sleeping pills. Who knows all the things that people try to compensate when all it is is just a lack of magnesium in their system and you only need a little bit at all times. So that is the very bottom line of the whole thing without going too scientific, just getting down where we live. You know, we want to be able to walk around with a nice smooth operating body. We want our joints to be nice and free, free and agile. We want to be flexible. We want to be strong. We want to be in balance. We want to be in equilibrium. And we want to have power. Power is very important because the power, the brain power, the, the physical energy power to climb the mountain, the power within every single cell of your body, the, the Krebs cycle, you know, the, the sodium potassium pump that relies on magnesium at its core for the catalyst is super, super important. How you intake energy to nutrients into your cell and how you expel it properly and how you eliminate it and detox it out of your system. So there are so many wonderful things that happen in your body when you bring your magnesium levels up. Your body's so automated and so intelligent, it just knows exactly what to do with it. And it's like, oh, finally, I'm getting the fuel I wanted. <laughs> Where was this fuel my whole life? Wasn't in the food properly. And the other problem is that people don't eat properly. That, that's a whole nother subject. It's not so much what you eat, because obviously if you're into health, you're going to be eating healthy food. But it's not just what you're eating, it's exactly how you're eating. And that's another subject that we're not going to cover here. But it's of equal importance to the repletion of the missing elements within your body that are required to fuel you. So repletion is the opposite of depletion. So just thinking about being replete. You have the proper amounts of all the elements topped up in your tank. You've got the reserves. You know that when you're going to go into a stressful day, or if you're going to have a day where it's requiring a lot of brain power, you've got the resources to draw on to get through that day. And you can continue to top it up. You can just put more magnesium on your body if you need to. Nothing is holding you back. And the beautiful thing about the transdermal magnesium is your body is able to regulate how much it uses because it goes into the tissue you can't overdose on transdermal magnesium, where you can definitely overdose on orally consumed magnesium. A lot of, a lot of magnesiums will show up as, you know, peristaltic, uh, you know, running to the bathroom. And it taxes your digestive system. 
anyone who has a kidney problem, like they're going on dialysis or they have some kind of kidney malfunction, they can't take magnesium at all because magnesium is taking such a tax and a toll in their kidneys, they simply can't afford that. So this is one of those wonderful things that you can do through your skin to not bother your digestive system, to not bother your kidneys. And you'll see it right away. Uh, we, I've watched, you know, people, and this is all anecdotal because we can't make a claim publicly, but we've had a very significant number of people 60 and up who have had high blood pressure who reported that when they added magnesium to their skin, after 30 to 45 days, their blood pressure normalized and they think it cures high blood pressure. It doesn't cure anything. The reason that they had high blood pressure is because they were magnesium deficient. All they did was bring the magnesium levels up and then their body functions right. So it doesn't cure anything. It's just that your body is not running properly. That one of the symptoms of high blood pressure is that your body gets constricted and it doesn't flow properly and it's not relaxing and it, and it gives you hypertension, which they use for the term of high blood pressure. Then they give you a medication that, that makes you cough and you have, to, you have to take it every day and they say you're going to take it for the rest of your life because you can't cure high blood pressure. Well, no, there is no cure for high blood pressure. High blood pressure shows up because of a lack of magnesium. So you can't call magnesium a cure. It's just common sense. If your car is not properly fueled or it's got not got the right octane of gas and you have a high performance engine in it, it's not going to run right. It's going to knock. It's going to have timing issues. You don't cure the timing issues with high octane. You cause the timing issues with low octane. That's all. So that's the whole thing. It's not a medical claim. It's just a, a, a factual, a statement of fact in the health world and natural health, health how important magnesium is at the core level. So it is really a common sense situation. And you'll see right away when you start applying this to your life, every single thing starts to work way better. Like I said, smoother joints, no more stiff muscles, anxiety. We've seen anxiety go away in people immediately. They literally within two to three minutes feel themselves chill out. And people have anxiety and panic attacks and they're diagnosed with like whatever they get. I don't even want to use the terms because it is such a false impression upon that person to think that they are now that syndrome. And all it was was magnesium deficiency is such a shame. So when people apply these things, all of a sudden, all their burnout goes away. Their autonomic nervous system is working well. They can get the job done. They can go and have the deepest sleeps and recharge. And you want to, it's like hooking up to the big battery charger in the sky where when I go to sleep, I go to some other universe and I come out of those sleeps that are so deep and so restful and so recharging. I feel like a, a billion dollars. And if my body tells me throughout the day, if, if I'm really under a lot of pressure, because we have so many things happening all the time and, and I want to, and I feel suddenly tired, <clears throat> my, my, my system is so tuned in. My body's telling me, Hey, go get a 30 minute power nap. And I can go and literally go into a 30 minute power nap, go so deep. And I come out of that and I've got eight hours of super energy after that 30 minute power nap. If I don't go and get that 30 minute power nap, I'm dragging my butt for the next eight hours, mentally, emotionally, and physically for no reason other than I didn't obey what my body was saying and go recharge. But the point is, is I'm able to recharge like that because I've got all the elements available for my body to do what it wants to do, which is recharge. So this completely eliminates the burnout and allows the body to function at its, at its highest levels. Something so simple. So I've, I've often told people, this is the cheapest insurance policy you could ever give yourself, which is to make sure you're investing in yourself every day with the proper form of magnesium going into your skin. And if you require to do it through your oral consumption, that is perfectly good too. Because if you're out there climbing mountains and doing hiking and you know, rock climbing or, or things that are super physically exerting, you may need more of that fuel coming in through your digestive tract, which is perfectly fine. Just make sure you're using the ones that you see the results from and you have the best biocompatibility of it. And that is really the long and short of the simplicity of the miracle mineral magnesium.